Something very exciting is coming up in your future, though. A 10th anniversary of the Clinton Presidential Center. Yeah. I'm very, very excited about this. I mean, it, it's, it's a beautiful facility. Here it is 10 years later. What did you set out to accomplish, you know, when you opened up the center? And, and how do you look at it now? Are you excited to go home and celebrate this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me first of all say but for the people who are watching in, in the audience, there's the, my foundation operates out of New York City, and we have offices all over the world, but the center yeah, is essentially, yeah, in Harlem. <laughs> we love that. It's a, good, it's a good place. I like it. But anyway, the, the center is in my native state of Arkansas. It's where the presidential library is, and we also have a school of public service it's, it's the only place in America where you can get a graduate degree in public service as opposed to public policy. Wow. And our students have to spend half their time in the field actually trying to make change. So I try to give these young people really good academic groundings, but also when they walk out, I want them to think that they can figure out how to do something. And the, the presidential center, the, the best thing about it, I, I, I believe, is that I, at least I tried. I designed it so that if you go through the exhibits about the eight years I served, whatever your politics, you could not go through with your eyes open and come out and say, you know, it doesn't matter who wins elections. You know, it doesn't matter whether I vote or not. Nobody's going to be affected by this. Everything's the same. Mm -hmm. It's factually not true. First of all, most people who run for office in both parties, whether they get credit for it or not, are honest, they work hard, and they're pretty much gonna try to do what they say they're gonna do. So it matters that you pay attention to what they say they're gonna do. Right. And I, I just wanted people to come out believing that democracy can work, believing that there are consequences. And you know, I keep score in a pretty basic way. I think when it's all done, and I'm not running for anything anymore, I think the only thing that matters is are people better off when you quit than when you started? Do children have a brighter future? And are things coming together instead of being torn apart? If you can give the right answer to those three questions, then the system works, the leaders are doing what they were hired to do, and everything else is background music.